Rust is a general purpose programming language that emphasizes performance, type safety, and concurrency. Rust was first released in 2015 and was initially developed at Mozilla to be used in their experimental browser engine. Since 2016, Rust has sat as the most loved language in the Stack Overflow annual developer survey. The syntax of Rust is similar to that of C and C++, but unlike those two languages, it is heavily influenced by concepts from functional programming languages, such as OCaml, Scheme, and Haskell. Rust has been positioned as the modern successor to C++, due in part to its low-level applications and improved memory safety, especially when dealing with concurrency. Many Rust programmers call themselves Rustations, a play on the word crustacean. Because of this, the unofficial mascot of Rust is a crab named Ferris, a play of the adjective Ferris, which relates to iron, which of course is associated with Rust. The Rust website provides instructions on how to get started. The preferred approach is to first install an application called RustUp, a Rust version management tool. With RustUp installed, the RustUp default stable command will install the latest version of Rust. To get started with a simple program, first create a new file that ends in the extension .rs. Rust uses the main function as its entry point, similar to many other languages, and can write to std out using the println macro. Code can be compiled using the rustc command, which then produces a binary output that can be executed. Whilst rustc works for simple files, it can be challenging to use with larger projects. Instead, it's recommended to use Cargo, which is a package manager and build tool for Rust. To create a new project using Cargo, use the Cargo new command, which creates a new application project in a directory with the provided name. The project can then be built using the Cargo build command, or executed using the cargo run command. The Rust standard library is rather minimal when compared to other languages, but this minimalism is by design. The standard library does provide some common data structures that most developers will find useful. These are similarly named to the data structures found in C++ and therefore can be confusing to developers from other languages. The vec type acts as a dynamic array which will increase in size as more values are pushed. The hash map type is used for storing key value pairs. The hash set type is used for storing an unordered set of unique values. These data structures are sufficient for many simple use cases, but in non-trivial projects, third-party dependencies are usually required. Rust provides an elegant dependency management solution through the use of Cargo. Similar to NPM and PyP, Cargo uses a centralized repository for dependencies, which are known as crates, and can be discovered on the crates.io website. Adding a crate to a project is as easy as setting the crate name and version number to the dependencies section in the cargo.toml. The crate can then be imported into the code with the use keyword. Calling either the cargo build or run command will then download the dependency and compile it in the background. Rust is a strongly typed language with an expressive and powerful type system. Structs are the common data type for encapsulation in Rust and are used as the basis for creating more complex data structures. Enums are a powerful feature of Rust, which can also be composed of other data structures as well as their own values. There is no inheritance or object-oriented programming in Rust. Instead, an interface type system known as traits is used, which defines the expected method interface of a type without defining its implementation. Rust also has support for generics, which can be used to create powerful abstractions and code reusability. Rust is influenced by functional languages such as Haskell and OCaml and brings many similar features to the language. One of the most prominent features is that variables are immutable by default. The mute keyword must be added to any variable, including parameters, in order for its value to be changed. Functions are considered first-class types, which allows for higher-ordered functions such as map and reduce. Rust provides strong support for pattern matching, which allows the flow of the program to branch based on a given input. Due to Rust being a safe language, the null keyword does not exist. Instead, an enum called option is used, which has two variants, none, which is used to represent null, and sum, which has an associated value, of which is generic. As well as the option type, a result type is used for error handling, which has an OK or error type associated. Code is organized in Rust through the concept of modules, 
A module can be another file or a folder with a mod.rs file inside of it. Access control is permitted using the pub keyword, which specifies that public access outside of the module is allowed for the associated type, trait, or attribute. Memory is managed in Rust differently when compared to other programming languages. This is due to the borrow checker, which forces the concept of memory ownership at compile time. Rust is infamous for its steep learning curve, and this is due in part to the borrow checker, which is pretty understandable. The borrow checker can be pretty difficult for newcomers to Rust. The borrow checker tracks the lifetime of references and ensures they are used in a way that is safe and compliant with the ownership rules. This is what drives the core safety behind Rust. One of the easiest ways to encounter the borrow checker is to create a variable and pass it to a function. Doing so actually passes the ownership of that variable to the called function, which will then release it when the function is completed. This means that the variable can no longer be used after this function is called. The easiest way to prevent this is to change the parameter of the function to accept a reference instead, denoted by the ampersand. Or you can just clone that variable and give ownership of it to the function. Rust provides a suite of tools to enable modern workflows and improve the developer experience. The majority of these tools can be installed using the rustup component add command. Otherwise, they exist in Rust or Cargo already. Rust Format provides a tool to automatically format Rust code, making it easier to read, write, and maintain. Clippy, named after the infamous Microsoft Office helper, is a linting tool that can catch common mistakes and improve the quality of one's code. Code completion can be added to any text editor that supports LSP through the use of Rust Analyzer. Testing is supported from the ground up with unit tests being written in the same file as the code. The cargo test command will run all of the tests found in your project. Documentation can be generated from the code by using the cargo doc command, which will generate this code in a standardized manner, which helps to improve the readability of consuming documentation from multiple authors. Rust is one of the more exciting languages to appear in recent years and brings with it a modern developer experience with unmatched safety and performance. Given how much developers love to code in Rust, it's worth considering as a language to learn. Rust is a deep and powerful language and has a large amount of features and knowledge to absorb in order to become an expert at it. This video has only touched the surface and hasn't dared to enter any of the more advanced features. I'm looking forward to creating more content on Rust, especially when it comes to these advanced features and helping both you and myself to understand them better.